Recording in progress. Hi, I'm Elaine Brewster. Welcome to Aspects of Energy, a forum where we talk about ways to raise our energy. And before, we have had Annalyn Osborne on with us, and she was telling us a series of steps that she went through over some years to relieve some trauma in her life. And one of those is EFT tapping or emotional freedom technique by Gary Craig and a, a technique that he started in 1995. And this is something she actually teaches. And so she's going to walk us through that today. And I hope uh, Anna Lynn have us actually do that. And, uh, um, and I will turn it over to you, Anna Lynn. Okay, awesome. I'm looking at the visuals that I had for you, so <laughs> I can't see what I look like, hopefully. Well, right it's, now, it's just the picture of two dogs and, and you and I guess Dave. Okay, well, I guess that's what you're going to get while we look at this. <laughs> okay, so um, emotional freedom technique, if you look it up online, you'll find lots of different techniques that are related. You'll find tapping technique, tapping therapy but it's also related to pretty much every other energy technique that you can think of most closely, I think with acupressure, but of course, acupuncture, Qigong, Reiki, abundance alignment technique, emotion code, body code, tapping therapy, all that, all those are related. Um, so the first thing I thought I would do is just tell you what my first experience with EFT was. I was, I think 39 years old, I think I had just gotten into the Tabernacle Choir. And I had a friend who lives up in Brigham and she and her husband have a health clinic and they teach all sorts of different um, energy healing techniques. And so they invited me and I went. And in the meeting, they asked for somebody to volunteer who had some painful spot on their body that they could work on. So I raised my hand because I had this pain in my back, kind of under my left shoulder blade that I had had ever since I was in the fifth grade. And in the fifth grade, I lived in Texas. And one day when I was walking home from school, one of the fifth grade bullies decided to pick on me for some unknown reason. And he got a big old horse apple. I don't know if you've ever seen a horse apple, but they're big and they're hard. And he threw it as hard as he could at my back. And besides hurting my back, it really hurt my feelings and made me cry. And I had had that pain with me ever since the fifth grade until I was like 39 years old. Um, it really interfered with a lot of my important daily activities, um, especially playing the violin. And I was a music major in college, so I played the violin a lot. And then when I graduated, I became an orchestra and choir teacher. So I was still using the violin a lot, but it was just really painful every time I would try to play. That's when it would hurt. When I, when I would put my arms up into position is when it would start hurting really bad. So um, anyway, to make a long story short, they did the emotional freedom technique on it. And after one round of tapping, the pain went away and it has never come back. So I was like, oh, wow, this is pretty cool. Wow. Um, so I, one thing that they told me when I went to a training after that was that EFT is kind of like being your own therapist, but it's faster than traditional therapy. And it works on lots of things, not just emotional or mental issues, like you can see from the back pain, which I'm sure was kind of a combination of all of those things. Cause I had my feelings hurt plus my back hurt. And I had just held on to that pain for however many years that was. So um, what to expect, we're gonna do a little round of it. Um, and what to expect is kind of, if you've ever done any energy work before, you'll probably notice that when you start to feel the energy flowing, you may yawn a lot, mm. uh, sigh. You might feel, some people feel some tingling sensations in their body. Um, you can, most people start crying when a release happens. And some people call it ugly crying, but I like to call it beautiful crying because it means you're releasing something that needed to be released. Um, and you'll probably feel better fast. And sometimes you'll feel lots better fast. Um, just a caveat, you may experience a healing crisis if you release something big. And if you want to kind of ameliorate the crisis, make sure you drink lots of extra water today 
and then to kind of take it easy as, as easy as you can for the rest of the day. But if you do start feeling really crummy later this evening, if you had a big release, that's possible. So jump in a hot bath with two cups of Epsom salts and two cups of baking soda, and that should help your body release faster the toxins without making you feel cruddy. Um, you would wanna stay in the bath for a minimum of 40 minutes. And like I say, make the water as hot as you can stand it. Any questions before we just jump in? I think we're good. Can, okay. we, see, can we see your picture so we can see you doing it? Um, your live self? I saw you before. It's possible. Let me see if I can figure that out. Um, I know what. Well, dang it. My, it's my computer for some reason. Just oh. does not want to connect to my hotspot today. Otherwise, this would all be a lot easier. I know. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know why sometimes it just decides that it doesn't want to. Maybe because it's Canada Day. It, that's it, why. That's a good reason. I think so. <laughs> I'll try one more time, but it's so odd because it's been connecting and then it can't find the network and then it connects and then it can't find it. Yeah. Okay, um, describe all it. Right. Do it. Uh, let me see. Give me just one second here. As you can see, Anna Lynn loves animals. And besides her dogs, last time she was on, she was working with a friend um, doing actually some emotional release and some healing work with some horses um, that needed help. There you go. Yeah, we'll just um, we'll just fly by the seat of our pants here. So nothing, none of the technology seems to want to work. Okay, so um, the first thing we need is for somebody that's on here to identify some part of their body where they're experiencing a little bit of pain today, Some anything unpleasant, anything uncomfortable. You'll have to un unmute people. Linda, Don Marie. Okay, Don Marie says, but you're still muted, my dear. My lower right hip. Okay, your lower right hip. Okay, once, so you're Don Marie. So Don Marie has identified that her lower right hip is hurting her. And now she just needs to, if she has a piece of paper to jot it down, that's usually the best. On a scale of one to 10, how much does it hurt? 10 being like, oh my gosh, I need the emergency room. And mm -hmm. one being like, eh, it's not really bugging me that much. Mm -hmm. I would say a five. Okay. So she's, she's on a scale of 10, on a scale of 10, she says the pain in her lower right hip is at a five. Okay, awesome. And um, then the next thing that you do is, let me show you what the tapping points are. But actually before that, we're gonna create a phrase. So your phrase needs to have two parts in, to it. It needs to have something about the pain that you're experiencing, and then it needs to have something about you loving and accepting yourself anyway. So generally I would phrase it something like, even though I have this pain in my, lower right hip and then maybe you could add a couple adjectives in there for me like how does it feel okay so should i repeat that no just tell us the adjectives and then i'll help you with the repetitions later okay um tight and um annoying <laughs> okay tight and annoying anything else that comes to mind um <sighs> Uncomfortable. Okay. And ooh. I would have to say um, is it persistent? Oh, mm -hmm. Is it persistent? Is it always there? 
It's persistent. Yes, I was it rear ended twice. And so it comes and goes. Yeah. And I just got finished exercising. So of course, everything's kind of tight. <laughs> More okay, good. All right, so that's good. We got lots of good adjectives and we even found out probably where some of it is coming from, from being rear-ended twice, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna put those into a phrase and we're gonna say all of those things when we start out. And then we're gonna say after that, even though all of this is true, I still totally and completely love and accept myself. And I probably um, will just ask you, Don Marie, to add in like, is there any uh, emotion that comes up when you think of being rear-ended? Did you feel like it was someone else's fault or like it was your fault or, or what kind of emotions came up when you were rear-ended? Not my fault, I just retired, why? <laughs> okay, perfect, that's exactly what we need. Yes. Anything else that comes up? When you think about having been rear-ended. Yeah, just... I, I was the passenger, so my friend was driving, so I was just praying that she was okay as well. Um, you know, just bummer, you know, I just, just, I've never been in a car accident and that was my very first time. And so it's like, you know, why now at this point in my life, you know, where I'm beginning to enjoy the best times. <laughs> not <laughs> fair, right? It's not fair. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. And your hip is telling you about that. Mm -hmm. Probably over and over. <laughs> over and over. Yes. Okay. So the idea is to stop that cycle. Tell your little hip that you love it. Mm -hmm. Send some love down there. Yes. And, and, you know, just quit the, the cycle, kind of just yes. release it all and get it gone. Okay. okay. Awesome. Perfect. So then we've got our phrase. We're going to use some of those adjectives in our phrase. And then at the end, we'll say, even though this is true, I still totally in love, completely love and accept myself. But then as we go through, um, we're gonna tap on seven different meridian points. So we're gonna start on our, sorry, I have a little Band-Aid on my finger. Can't remember what I did to it. <laughs> um, we're gonna start on what they call the karate chop point. Some, you can tap either like this yep. when we do the karate chop point and get both hands. I kind of like that. Or you can just go like this. And it doesn't have to be hard. We don't want people to be bruised when we get done. Gotcha. <laughs> so take it easy. And then we're going to start on your uh, third eye okay. spot. Okay, so right in between your two eyebrows. Oh yeah, glasses will make this hard. <laughs> and then we're going to go up to the top of the head. We're just tapping on pressure points and um, meridian, the, the locations of the energy that flows through your body, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go on the side of your eye. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go on top of your upper lip. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to go on your chin and mm -hmm. we're going to go right here at the beginning of the collarbone. Mm -hmm. Either side doesn't matter on any of these. You can do whichever side you want. You could do both sides if you really felt like an overachiever. And then we're going to do right under your arm. Mm -hmm. If you know where your nipple is, it's kind of like right straight back there under your arm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And those are the seven points we'll tap and we'll say the phrase first. And then while we're tapping, we're just going to use a shorter version of that phrase. And probably what we're gonna say, you tell me if this sounds like it would work for you, just to remind you of all those things we just talked about, is um, this pain in my hip from the car accident. Will that kind of remind you? Yes. Anna Lynn, yeah. Anna Lynn, um, can the rest of us do the tapping mm -hmm. along with you and Don Marie? It won't hurt her, it won't hurt us, maybe even support her mm -hmm. no it will definitely support her and if you happen to have a pain but you didn't get chosen to say it you can work on your own mm -hmm. pain. okay yeah okay so you ready to tap with me mm -hmm. okay so uh we're gonna start by setting our phrase by tapping on the karate chop point okay. so this pain in my hip this pain in my hips it's persistent 
is persistent. Tingling, tight. Tight, ongoing. Annoying and uncomfortable. And uncomfortable. Uh, I was rear-ended. I was rear-ended. Not my fault. Not my fault. I just retired. I just retired. My very first car accident. My very first car accident. Why? <laughs> Why? I just started to enjoy life. I just started to enjoy life. I don't need this. It's not fair. I don't need this. This is not fair. Okay, so now we're going to move around. Um, even though I have this pain in my hip. I have this pain in my hips. I still totally and completely. I still totally and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Okay, we're going to move to the, around a little bit. So this pain in my hip. This pain in my hip. Then we're going to move to the top of the head. This pain in my hip. This pain in my hip. This pain in my hip, side this of the eye. This pain in my hip. Under the eye, this pain in my hip. This pain in my hip. Top of the lip, this pain in my hip. This pain in my hip. Whew. Chin, this pain in my hip. This pain in my hip. Beginning of the collarbone, this pain in my hip. This pain in my hip. Underneath the arm, this pain in my hip. This pain in my hip. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to the beginning. Tap just a minute on that. And then I want you to just relax for a second and have a big sigh. And tell us um, on a scale of one to 10, do you feel any difference in the pain? Yes, it's subsided. So it's down to a four now. Awesome. Yeah. So we went from a five to a four just on one round. And we can keep doing this, but I would like to just throw in one little extra bonus for today um, from a technique called the abundance alignment technique that I also love mm -hmm. that I like to combine with EFT. And let's see if we can get that to move maybe a little bit more, okay? So here's the technique. It's a little odd looking, but it's really amazing because it uses, it combines the tapping with your breath, which accesses different levels of your subconscious mind. Mm. So we're gonna tap along our central meridian all the way down to the back. You know where that knob on your skull is right at the mm -hmm. back of your head? Mm -hmm. Right down to there. So we're gonna start right here at the top and we're gonna tap all the way down to there. I'll show you how to do it once. It's really pretty quick. It goes like this. You breathe in, you breathe out. And you're gonna do that three times, in through the nose, out through the mouth. So here we go. One time, in through the nose, and then out through the mouth while you do it again, tap again. And then in through the nose, and then out through the mouth. And then in through the nose. And then out through the mouth. And then this is the part that looks even odder. You're going to pant like a dog because this breath pattern accesses your subconscious. So you're going to do this three times, the tapping while you pant like a dog. Here we go. One. Two. Three. And then smile. Okay, so that's a beautiful smile, by the way. How are we doing with our pain? <laughs> it's better, it's better. Not okay, as intense. Number wise? It's a three, it's a three. It's awesome. Going down. Yeah, it's a three. Awesome. So Dawn Marie, you can keep doing that as often as you want until you get all that released. Yes. And as you do it, you may come up with other adjectives that hadn't occurred to you when we first started, you know, because maybe this will be cleared out of the way and there'll be other things that you want to address and you should be able to get rid of it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> My pleasure. Oh. Great. <laughs> okay, Ooh. well, that's basically it in a nutshell. Wow, somebody else. Sandra. <laughs> wow. No, she was there. Now it's not. D's, D's driving, so that's a little hard. So it, so instead of acupuncture or acupressure, he's using tapping. 
to access those same points. Huh, that's interesting. He had to have been studying about that a long time before that occurred to him. And, and yeah. people, people weren't doing that much with, um, with Eastern medicines, you know, back then. I mean, not that many people were. Mm -hmm. We're so fortunate that you found this so you could share it with us, Anna Lynn. That's, I've seen you do it before, but this made more sense because it is a little silly. Yeah, it is. And the silliness is kind of part of the fun part of it, you know, not taking yourself too seriously. That's nice. I'm sure that we could all do that, especially with a holiday weekend coming up. Any <laughs> questions? Anybody? All right. I think you've given us what we need to. Thank you. You're welcome. One other tip. If you don't feel quite comfortable doing it on your own and you just go on YouTube, uh, you can find lots of videos that people will, you can just tap along with them. They have, they'll put up a video and it says tapping for anxiety or tapping for, you know, whatever topic or just tapping in general. And you can just tap right along with them and it works great. Wow. Okay. Well, so now when we see any of those videos, we would know what to expect. We would know why we're doing it. And we would, we would have confidence that that's something we could do. And it didn't take very long at all. No. I, I just think some of these things we need to, you know, we as human beings, we need to just put in our toolbox in our lexicon and start doing them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And when I first took the class, um, I was told that I had to do, I would, uh, that I should be doing it every morning, but I have friends that like to say, don't should on yourself <laughs> because I spent a lot of years feeling guilty if I didn't do it like every morning. So now instead of doing that, I just, if something comes up and I notice like, uh, like all of a sudden I have an allergy attack for no reason, then I'll try and think, okay, what just did that? And I'll just do a really quick round. And usually it just goes away instantly. And then it never gets stuck in there. Mm -hmm. that's, so I do it throughout the day. Well, that's a huge point. Because I was working with the foot zoning person that we had last week. And so I had a session from her yesterday. And just like you, it's a, it's a physical technique, but it's aimed at releasing a lot of things in our body that are you know holding back various parts of our body and um and so that's what she was saying is we have you know we live life things happen every day mm -hmm. we need to be doing things like this every day yeah not build it up for once a month or once a year or right, right yeah just take a couple of minutes and get rid of it when it happens yeah well great hey everyone have a wonderful holiday weekend and uh, and again, oh, Hattie Jane, you've got a specific question. What you got, dear? Uh, was there an acceptance formula? Sorry, an acceptance what? You mentioned to say something about the discomfort or the, the pain you feel, the history. But was there also an acceptance um, component? Maybe you're talking about the part where you say I completely and totally love and accept myself, even though I have this pain. Yeah, that's part of your original statement. And you can say that over again other times if you want. We should probably be saying that to ourselves a lot. I completely accept myself. Can she say it again? Yes. Myself. Even though I feel and then fill in the blank, right? I completely and totally love and accept myself. Okay. Thank you, Don Marie. I hope you feel lots better. I do. That pain on the on the right side is gone. I now just it shifted to the middle of my back, and it, I feel it on the left side. So I'm going to do this EFT again, and I'm going to have myself a rock solid weekend. So thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you. Let us oh know what God. happens. Yes. Yeah.
<laughs> All right. We're so curious. See you later. Bye. Okay. Be safe, everyone. Uh, yeah. Have a good 4th of July. Yes. Bye-bye. Thank you for the call.